Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to VFX Kitchen. So today we are going to play with Blender. Blender now is growing up like crazy, there's a lot of stuff coming out. As most of the studios are looking into the open source free software because now it has much more support than it used, than it used to be before. If you checked um, their like, GitHub repository, they are always updating almost every 90, 90 minutes they have a new um, commit and that's basically a new feature or a new update or a fix for a bug and you can basically just grab it, build it and done. Um, so today I'm talking about my approach for building Blender Pipeline. Uh, I have my um, I have my version of Blender here, it's exactly the normal Blender but I just built it with changing the splash screen so I just look more cool. Uh, <laughs> and. Um, as you can see, that's like like normal regular Blender, nothing much. Just changing up the startup scene, which you can basically do by clicking F3 and just save startup scene, set up file, and that's basically it. So not much. And the splash screen, just because I build it on my own, so I always have my own splash screen. Blender has a feature that you can uh, specify file path where you can assign uh, scripts from external location, which is really really cool. Because um, for me myself, I can show you right now what I'm going to do. So that's my work area. I will create a new path for the pipeline. Let's call it uh, let's call it Blender External Pipeline. This will be the path that I'm going to give to the script path here. Okay. And if you look into the documentation. Uh, they tell you that you have to create multiple folders, like they have kind of subdirectories that's already, um, it's not hard coded, but like it's specified that you have add ons, you can also have modules, you can have uh, startup, and so on and so on. But for me, I just care about add ons, I don't need anything else. And inside here, I will build also my, um, like, my main controller for all the new tools or add ons I'm going to create. So I can just basically call it VFX Sketching. Um, all right, now we have our folder. Let's start uh, creating our first add-on, which will be, I would call it um, first add-on, or let's call it first tool, my first tool. Um, just to be sure that uh, when you are loading the add-on, there should be um, a operator for each tool that you are creating. So before that, we have to initialize an init file that will be loaded automatically once you start up a uh, blender and we can just edit it inside um, sublime yeah so let me show you how the file should look like um, we have to specify the information about um, the, the add-ons in general like this is like the parent of all the add-ons and inside it is small tools sub directories for each tool and First, we have to initialize the main information, so like I think it's called uh, Blender Info. Okay, and it's basically a dictionary, which should include the name. Let's just fill it now. I will try to copy it, because I knew it. Uh -huh. And then we have the author. We have the version. Which is find it a little bit weird, weird how they are specifying the version, and then we say Blender, Blender version. We need description and we need category. Okay, that's the first thing ever you need to do for creating your own pipeline. So the name I will call it VFX Kitchen Add-ons. Also, it's me, Shem, from VFX Kitchen. Hello there. Hmm. Virgin, um, just could be like, yeah, that's the part. That's the part I found it a bit uh, weird because you have to specify the version like this. Yeah. Okay, it's okay, but maybe it makes it more clean for them how they are um, doing it. So now that's the build to eighty two description. I will just call it tool set for animation production pipeline 
and category is development and basically the category can get it when you go for the add-ons here you can see we have different categories we have camera animation add mesh and stuff so later when you are creating each tool you can specify what it's actually doing okay and then we import pby from pby.types import operator and then i will call this one um, um, with x tools and that's basically an empty list we will fill it later and then we have to define the register function which do for class in with x tools register class ls and for an register we also need to do the same so that helps if you're trying to refresh your um, add-on inside Blender without closing Blender and open it again. And then if it's name equals equals name, then we do the register. Um, this is a mistake. This one, because um, I was trying to organize my files before I start the video, um, I have to move this one to um, the tool itself. Okay, uh, so now we have nothing to show more than if we just restart Blender or maybe refresh development. So now you can see we have VFX Kitchen add-ons, which is from our uh, Blender external pipeline add-ons VFX Kitchen. And okay, so next thing will be that we are creating our first operator. Operator, you can just call it in another term as a script. When you click on the button in the top, or maybe just write down the name of the tool, it will just run a script, not a, not a tool itself. The next part, we can talk about creating a tool using PySide. Uh, so, okay, inside my first tool, I have also to create a new init file. And let's open it again here, and let me um, copy from my pre-prepared uh, script. Import PBY, yeah, that's the part I'm talking about from PBY, the types, import operator. Um, yeah, and then we have to specify the operator. Very, my first tool operator, I will just call it like this PBY, the types, dot operator. And then we have to specify the ID name, which is VFX Kitchen, you can just call it VFX Kitchen, yeah, dot, whatever you want to call it, okay, let's just call it my first tool. And then the label, which should show like uh, VFX Kitchen, my first tool. And then you need to specify the execute function, so that's what's going to happen when you execute this Command. Uh, I would like just to print hello there, and we can just return running model. Cool. Uh, all right. Let's refresh. Let's unload this one. And I think here I have to import uh, my first tool. So from here, import my first tool. And then inside the classes we have my first tool and then my first tool operator, which is basically what we had here. Yeah, this one. Okay, so next time I load this one, I should get at least a loader printed out. So that's my console. Okay, cool. Let me just move it here for a side. And in here, let's load it. And no module called VFX Kitchen. So he's trying to look into and what is module called with Kitchen? We don't have any modules called with Kitchen. Okay, I guess we have to restart this for the moment. And let's see, because usually there's some issues with um, loading uh, or importing modules on the runtime. But uh, reloading the modules is working fine, but importing them for the first time is not always smooth. And okay, be a label attribute. Uh, expected operator 
class to have an BL label. I think that's uh, a typo. So we go here. Ah, yeah, true. It's typo. Okay, cool. Now, ah, please restart it. The cool thing is actually start quick, quick, quick. So I appreciate this in Blender. Uh, now, all right. So we should have. Ah, we didn't execute it yet. Okay. Uh, so now, if I will just go here, press F3, and say my first, and then you can see we have VFX Kitchen. That's like a namespace. Usually, you should you should pick something cool than this. Maybe the studio name that you're working for. And that's my first tool. So when I click on it, basically my my console will uh, print out hello there. The console you can open it from here. System console. You can also set some um, shortcut for it. Okay, now we just created our structure for uh, for running uh, Blender uh, tools. In the next video, we will uh, work on uh, installing modules for Blender. So, like, if you want to install OpenCV, PySci, whatever uh, modules you want to install, uh, we will talk about this. And in the other videos, we will talk how we can build GUIs uh, for Blender because so far Blender has no uh, easier connection to uh, inherit the main uh, window or main uh, context into a um, children tool. Um, so we will just discuss this in the next videos and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it today and see you next time. Bye bye. Now, here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you right down. Boom, 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 boom.